Which can... All right, gentlemen. Uh, well, thank you so much, uh, Jason and uh, Monica. Uh, well, the massacre, of course, on the Las Vegas Strip is the largest mass shooting in modern day U.S. history. We've been hearing about that with uh, the number of victims now at 59, more than 527 sadly injured. Uh, of course, it can be hard for uh, all of us, see, even if uh, we aren't victims, to process uh, uh, everything that happened here in our city, this place we call home that we love so much. We have uh, Lena Patel here with us to discuss how to help family and friends during this difficult time and this difficult uh, time of need here in Southern Nevada. Thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Um, I do want to start with, uh, again, as we mentioned, uh, this will forever be a part of our Las Vegas history. Sadly, we talk about the deadliest and mass shooting in modern day history. Uh, I was talking to my co-anchor Dave Hall just a bit ago and he, he was talking about how as a parent, sometimes it's difficult to talk to your children about what happened. We as adults, are still trying to to wrap our brains around what happened we're heartbroken so I can't even imagine what a child has to go through what advice do you have for parents uh, when it comes to talking to their kids about this you know I think the most important thing is to reaffirm our belief in humanity and the goodness of people where there's so much fear that's penetrating the city and this country at this time and to remind children that this is not normal this is not how people are, that we can go to school, that we can hang out at the mall or wherever we go and, and be social and not be fearing for our safety and fearing for our lives. And so just reminding children that, that people are good, that we can have trust and faith in humanity. Yeah, and these young kids, we don't want to take their innocence away. Right now, they're just so so young, and, and we want them to be able, like you said, to, to trust humanity and, and know that they, they're safe. I think it's also important to give them the space to talk about yes. what they're going through and allow them to ask questions and express their fears and frustrations. And this is an opportunity for us as families, as the community, to really bond together. And let's not shut that down. Let's embrace that and welcome it. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, what's good with our world, hum uh, our humanity. We've been seeing that. We've been showing images of Good Samaritans. Uh, we've been seeing images of our first responders, our police officers running to help these victims. We've uh, uh, seen some of the video right now and uh, we saw again people donating, standing in line for several hours to donate. Again, this is what's right with our world. Uh, it's so important to also uh, f uh, focus on that as you mentioned. So you're absolutely right, we can donate. I know the blood banks are full at least till later on yeah. today, but there are several ways that people can donate. Uh, Red Cross, you can go and deliver bottled water, packaged foods that they yeah. can deliver to the victims. There's an organization that comes to mind, uh, Volunteers in Medicine for Southern Nevada, and they, they train volunteers to give emotional support to the victims and their families. So there's multiple ways that we can get involved. And you know what, this is the first time hearing, we've been hearing about, of course, all our wonderful organizations here, United Blood Services, we have uh, just heard from the Salvation Army as well, but this is the first time hearing. So it's called Volunteers in Medicine of Southern Nevada? Correct. And is there a website? Do we just go to their website? and It's vmsn.org. Don't quote me on that, but you can look up the website and you'll find it online. And, and again, do we just uh, contact them? And how does that I believe work? They have a form that you can fill out. Okay. I'm, not part, I'm not affiliated to the organization, but something that I do know of. They have a form that you can fill out expressing your desire to be a volunteer and then I believe they come in and train you and set you up to to be able to support the victims. I love that new information. We'll definitely make sure that we get that uh, online on our website foxhighvegas.com in just a bit. We've also talked about other ways that people uh, could donate. You uh, mentioned uh, also uh, contributing as well. Another great way to, to help out and do something. Yes, yeah, so the Clark County Commission Chair has set up a GoFundMe campaign and I know they've raised several million dollars so far, but the victims and their families need support. So anything you can give, whether it's a dollar, um, every single every single penny, every single nickel and dime yeah. goes towards helping the victims and their families. Um, so you can definitely donate financially if that's within your means to be able to do yeah, that. Yeah, and I know now it's at uh, more than $3 million. And you have uh, number four. We have to talk about that. Uh, we hear about the power of prayer. We've been seeing a lot of images <laughs> with our, our beautiful city, fabulous Las Vegas, with the words uh, pray for Las Vegas and earlier today we were seeing some video at, at some of the churches and some of the vigils of people coming together uh, during this difficult time and again that power of prayer. It's so important I think at this time that we can one pray because it's something we can all do no matter our circumstances and it gives us power it allows us to affirm in again the goodness of people 
And we can also pray at, you know, as a leadership coach, as a trainer, when I go into organizations or I'm speaking at events, I'm asking people to leverage their strengths in an organization. And I think this is the time that we can do that, that we can say, ask ourselves, how do we leverage our particular individual skills, resources, our talents, so that we can serve the community in the best way possible. And it's going to be different for each of us, but if we just tap into what we're capable of giving, yeah. then I think as a community, we can really rally together and s give the support where it's most needed. And the, and the other thing about prayer is, that it, again, it just it transforms that fear into trust and yeah. it's so important at a time like this. Regardless of your or your beliefs. Exactly. Yeah. And last but not least, because uh, um, uh, we want to also talk about, you mentioned focus, one of your, uh, the bullet po points that you have, focus. Uh, explain that to us. Focus, it's about focusing on what matters. I see a lot of blame and shame that sometimes happens and, and it's, it's a natural response when we don't understand what's going on and we want answers. We point the finger often at leaders and say, hey, you're not doing a great enough job. And I think at this time we need to speak up for sure, but we don't need to talk down. We need to focus on what works instead of tearing down what doesn't. I, I agree know? with that. And I do have to say uh, our leaders uh, have done a wonderful job. Our, uh, all our lawmakers uh, were quick to respond and uh, keep us uh, uh, calm in such a, a horrific situation. And, and of course, uh, we can't thank them enough. So thanks so much for coming in and uh, sharing your point of view. And we do have, you do have a website where people can go and get more information. Again, a lot of people uh, wanting to, to be able to help and also uh, try to understand what happened in our brains around uh, this tragedy and what happened and uh, give us your website please. globalimpactsystems.com and I'll make sure I have a, a sheet for you if you want to be able to download yeah. a little PDF just just some reminders that you maybe you can share on social media that enable you to take these tips out there and make a difference in the community oh, I love it thank you so much and we do have a beautiful and loving community all right guys over to you you know, thank you so much, Lena. Thank you for being here. One of the things that I have discovered as I'm going through social media, as you all, and for those of you who have sent emails, thank you so kindly for all of your wonderful words. And, and again, here at Fox 5, we're going to try and bring you um, as much information as we possibly can. But one of the things that has happened, one of the good things that has come out of this horrific tragedy is that Las Vegas has become a community to the world. Yeah. Because most of the time when people think of our town, they think of the Las Vegas Strip. And as much as we love the Strip, we know it, you know, you got a whole bunch of jobs and it's kind of like, um, you know, the, the best thing about our town and we love it. But people don't realize we have churches. We have schools, we have de housing developments, we have a community, and I. this is what I've gotten as a result of all the coverage, is that people realize that, wow, they have a blood donation system going on. It's like, yeah, we do, we live huh. here. This is our town, our home. When I, uh, when I moved here 12 years ago to take this job, yeah. I thought that. Yeah, I thought, of course, yeah. Oh, sounds fun, I guess I'll give the news to the Strip, yeah. to tourists, and uh, you know, be, uh, you know, be fun, and then I'll just do my, my things I like to do in Vegas, right. and uh, it didn't take long before I realized not only is there a community, but mm -hmm. it by far, and I, you know me, I've been oh, to eleven, yeah. I've been to eleven television markets, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. by far this is the, the the most giving, the most giving, and the most uh, participating, yes, and mm -hmm. uh, the and the the um, biggest community as far as uh, loyal viewers. Yeah. So I mean, it didn't take long for me to realize that that yeah. wasn't the case at all, but think about people that aren't from here right and, and just I, come to the strip and right. party and then leave mm -hmm. and I think now they realize that uh, we really are a community yeah. and a community 